already. While I'm doing Pure Scholar stuff, I thought I'd do one other quick video. And this is more to give you, I think, more of a peek behind the scenes and hopefully to to put your mind at ease and, and if nothing else, just to educate you about how we handle the grading of the Pure Scholar activities. So, um, as you know, you're going to be continuing on with uh, Phase 2 and Phase 3 this week. By Friday of this week, the team of TAs who will be grading your Peer Scholar assignments will be meeting. And we go through what we call a calibration meeting. Uh, because we have somewhere between six and eight TAs that are grading assignments, we very much want to make sure they're all grading the same way. Uh, specifically, we don't want your mark to depend on which TA you happen to have read your work. So we spend a lot of time across two steps making sure that they're all grading in the same way. So on Friday we have our calibration meeting. Uh, what we actually do there is we take a few assignments and quietly grade them, each TA grades them themselves. They look through it, they decide what grades they think it deserves and why, and then assignment by assignment we talk about those grades and we basically you know if somebody says I think it's a six and someone else thinks it's, I think it's an eight they both kind of make the argument for the grades that they gave and the hope is and what usually happens is that somebody ends up saying oh you know you're right okay I see it now that should have been a six or that should have been an eight uh, and so we do this assignment by assignment by assignment until everybody's essentially giving the same grades for the same reasons. So that's step one, to get them all in the same mindset. Um, they then leave that calibration meeting and they begin their grading. But very early in the process, after they've graded something like six to ten, um, then we have another graduate student who's sort of overseeing all this, who looks at how they're grading um, and basically reacts to it. Okay, If he thinks they're doing a great job, just like everything we talked about in the calibration, that's great. He lets them know. Uh, if he thinks there's issues, um, things they're not doing quite right, then he lets them know that too. And they adjust the grades that they've give, given and then they go on continuing that way. Okay. In addition, at the end of the whole process, we are able to see the grades the different TAs are given, the averages, that kind of thing, which they know uh, as well. So they, you know, they, they are aware that we have high expectations in terms of their consistency of their grading, um, and we do all the training to make sure that consistency is held up, and then we do oversight. Um, all of this to back up, if I later will say in announcements that I stand by the grades my TAs give, I stand by them because we put so much effort into training and making sure everything is right. So, you know, I just want to let you know that because sometimes you hear rumors in the in the streets that oh, certain TAs are tough or certain whatever. That may apply in other courses. I don't know, but it, but not in our course. Uh, we really work hard to make sure the grading is done fairly. Um, that doesn't mean you'll get a good grade, but it means that the grade you give, uh, you get was arrived at in the same way that the grades were arrived at for every other student in the class. All right, so I just thought I'd throw that out there, make that clear for you as well, and um, yeah, that's all I got there. All right.